Hello, in this video we're going to talk about financial mathematics, specifically about inflation, as shown here in the syllabus. The formula for compound interest is shown on page 3 of your formula booklet. That formula for calculating a future value, Fv, is shown here, where PV is the present value. R is the annual rate of interest. N is the number of years. And K, which appears twice in the formula, is the number of compounding periods per year. If the interest is compounded annually or yearly, then K is equal to 1. If the interest is compounded half yearly, that's twice a year, then k will equal 2. If the interest is compounded quarterly, that's four times a year, then k will equal 4. And if the interest is compounded monthly, that's 12 times a year, so k will equal 12. Over time, the prices of goods and services tend to rise. The average percentage increase in prices over a year is known as the inflation rate, which is also called the inflation index. The effect of inflation is that the value of money decreases or depreciates over time. The value of money after being adjusted for inflation is known as the real value or the value in real terms. For example, if the inflation rate is 2% in a given year, then $100 at the beginning of the year will be worth, in real terms, $98 at the end of the year, as shown in the calculation here. To adjust or index a value for inflation, we multiply that value by the inflation multiplier each year. So to consider the final value of an investment in today's purchase and power, we divide its value by the inflation multiplier each year. For example, $1,000 invested at 2% annual interest for five years will have a final value of $1,104.08 as shown in the calculation here. However, if during those five years there has been an inflation rate of 2.5% per year, then the value of that investment in real terms is found by dividing that final value by the inflation multiplier raised to the power of 5 for five years. So the real value of the investment is 975 dollars and 85 cents as shown in this calculation here. In part A of this question we're asked to calculate the value of the investment after five years. So if we begin by writing down the compound interest formula and then identify k, the number of compounding periods in a year. And since the interest is compounded half yearly, that's two times a year, so k is equal to two. If we then state the present value, PV, which is 4,000, the interest rate, R, that's 4.8, The number of years, n, that's 5, and k, which was 2. If we then substitute these values into the formula, and then enter in the calculation into the calculator. So if we select the run matrix option, that's number 1, and type in the present value, that's 4000, multiplied by, in the open bracket, 1 plus, and I use the fraction button, putting the interest rate on the top, which 
fill in Dan. We put 100 multiplied by 2, or we can just put 200 on the bottom. Right cursor to come up again and close the bracket, and then raise that to the power of 2 times 5, or you can simply put 10. Press in execute to perform the calculation. Gives the final value required. And as it's money, we should give the answer correct for two decimal places. So after five years, the value of the investment is $5,070.60. In part B, we're asked to find the real value of the investment by indexing it for inflation. And to do that, we need to divide the final value by the inflation multiplier, again raised to the power of 5, as shown. Even a real value, or a value in real terms, of $4,373.94.